got a pretty packed fossil hunting episode today. Me, my brother and one of his friends headed down to the beach and came across quite a few lovely finds. Got several ammonite fossils, including a couple that we break open. We've also got a Bellumite battlefield and a really lovely piratized Bellumite as well. So plenty of fossils packed into this episode. I hope you enjoy it. First thing we're doing is just heading down to the beach. And I've got some pretty unique underwater shots as well. Let me know if you like these types of shots and I can get some more. I was really hoping to capture some little fish swimming around in one of these shots. Unfortunately not on this one, but hopefully in the future we'll manage to catch something like that. Now that we're down at the beach, we're going to start looking for some fossils. Just been having a little look here and I've spotted a pretty nice partial ammonite multi-block. It's in the shot now, can you see where it is? So it's right down there. Let's have a closer look at it. Quite a few impressions of Elegantisserus ammonites. All nicely piratized as well. leave this nearby though for someone else to see. Shortly after we've ended up coming across this really lovely ammonite which you're about to see. Now at first we couldn't tell there was a fossil inside however Shay's going to break it open. All in all, not too bad of a specimen, little Dactyliosaurus tenucostatum ammonite. However, the best fossils are still yet to come. The next one we're showing is one that's pretty rare, called a Pleurocerus ammonite. We've had one of these in a relatively recent video, a few weeks ago, and this one we found here is very piratized. covered in rock on one side still however thankfully the other side had been revealed so we could see this perfect specimen looks essentially fully prepared just going to wash it in the water now I initially recorded some audio while I was down at the beach, however it's so windy you can't hear what I'm saying. So I've recorded some more now. Essentially I washed it in the water to reveal more of the pyritic colour. And this specimen just, it looks stunning in my opinion. It's only really small, however it's rare. And the pyritic centre of it makes it look quite golden and I think it's really nice. Don't really come across many at all like that. I've got some close-up shots as well so we can see a bit more of it. After that we're going to have a look for some more fossils. Got some more underwater shots. Bellumnite battlefield and a really nice Bellumnite fossil still to come.
that was another nice ammonite opening. Next up, we have lots of fossil belemnites, which are the squid-like creatures. We've got the belemnite battlefield, as well as an individual belemnite with some really lovely iridescence on it. This is a big slab of belemnite marl, or belemnite battlefield. It's covered across the top with fossilized squid-like creatures, the belemnites. This is a really big chunk of it. It comes out quite easily from under this boulder. It looked at first like it was going to be really wedged under and trapped. You don't often see big lumps like this. It's also got a few other little fossils amongst it. Little ammonite there. This is very nice. Here's a look at that belemnite fossil. From this side of the fossil, the phragmacone is actually covered completely in shale. And you can't see any of that pyritic effect, which we're going to see just in a moment. So we have the phragmacone at the bottom, then the rest, this long pointed part, is the belemnite guard. So when we turn this over, you can see all of that stunning pyritic effect. And there would almost certainly be more of that continuing beneath that little layer of shale. However, it's very, very delicate. I think if we were, if we tried to remove more of it, it could could damage what we already have. So we've just left it as it is for now. I think this is one of the most unique belemnites I've found. It would be nice to get all of the shale removed from the guard itself as well and see what's under here, because there is a thin layer of shale on this part of the fossil as well. All in all, a very unique piece and one that's very nice to look at as well. So there we have it. I hope you've enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.